Hi everybody, it's Amira. How are you? I am back for another video for the letter writing challenge for 2016 and I wanted to go through some examples of mail art for you. So decorated envelopes and decorated uh, handwritten letters. So I wanted to start off first with different kinds, different ways you can decorate envelopes. So I'll start off with this one here. This is just pretty scrapbooking paper that I um, stamped. Pretty simple, front and back. Um, I use my envelope punch board to uh, make envelopes, best tool ever. Um, when I'm bored, I just make envelopes. <laughs> so I have a whole pile of them and I love decorating envelopes. It's very peaceful for me and uh, it's an expression of expression of, of, of how I'm, my mood at the time, how I feel. So one way of making it. Another way, um, I have um, I have this coloring book which my mom bought me a couple of years ago and um, I really haven't been, I don't have the time to color, I'd rather write than color, I've found. I'd rather draw than color and I'd rather write than color. So I've had this gorgeous book with all these beautiful girls from all over the world and so what I've been doing is I've been making envelopes out of them. So they make very 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 pretty um, envelopes and so um, I would put my, st my stamp here on the side and I would probably add a sticker here and I would not touch this envelope at all. So everything, look, she's so pretty! Um, so yeah, just like that, something that you have at home that was given to you um, that you just don't use. Why not um, repurpose it for another reason and um, yeah, use it to your advantage. Um, another uh, type of envelope you can make, so this is um, a, uh, the last piece of a paper pad, so this is that thick, um, very very thick um, paper. Um, so all I did was I uh, did a little bit of painting here. I put on, this is a um, fussy cutting. Um, I put the stamp here, I put the name here. This is the back that I've done. And as simple as that, your envelope goes from plain white to um, something that you've re um, used up. So, you know, instead of throwing it away, you use up the thick paper that's left over from a paper pad and um, yeah, you make it look very pretty. Um, another one here is, once again, so this is the f um, front of the uh, paper pad, all finished. And so I used the inside, which was white, and I inked it um, and I put some stamps and I colored in some st stamps. This is a beautiful shiny sticker here. Um, stamp and I would probably write the name of the person here. They added a little bit of washi up the top here and then similarly did the same thing on the other side. So stamp, 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 a beautiful sticker, washi on the side, inked it here and I'd put my return address here and this is just a beautiful envelope. Um, this is along the same lines. Once again, so finished another paper pad, um, and so I did this theme. I did a uh, cactus, octopus, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what kind of theme this is, but it's pretty. So an orange and green kind of theme. Um, oh, hello, and I'd put, the, um, I'd put the stamp here, I'd put whoever it's going to here, gorgeous little stamp. Um, and on the back here, no color. I'd probably maybe maybe ink it um, to make it more colorful. And my return address here on the back. Uh, one more along those lines. So this time I used, um, so once again, this is another paper pad that I'd finished and this is that thick, thick shiny paper. Um, so I inked it um, up nicely, I stamped and I colored in the stamps. I put, um, you know, a relevant washi tape to go with that. I'd probably write the name of the person here. Um, I'd always be thankful for coffee. And on the back here, once again, I inked it so it looked nice. I chose washi that kind of was a food-related washi. 
I'd put my name here and that is one gorgeous envelope I must say um, this one here is a different kind of way that I decorate so this is using deco tape now, you know deco tape is not like washi tape washi tape is paper deco tape is plastic so plastic deco tape here I'm um, still looking really cute here. I stamped one of the gorgeous girls here on the side and colored her in. Same on the back here, all kinds of stamp. And I used different colors and different inks without cleaning the stamp in between. So it gave that, you know, I don't have this color stamp, but that stamp is a combination of this color and this color. Um, and yeah, just more deco tape here and more stamping here. And um, yeah. Really cute. So I would probably put a sticker here with my friend, pen pal's name and a stamp here. Um, and uh, just really quickly, a really simple way. So if you just had um, normal, just to show you, a normal envelope. So this is just one that's store bought. Um, uh, a very, very, very simple way just to make it look pretty is to put washi tape. Um, on the top and on the bottom. This washi tape is um, specific airmail. Um, remember that old style of um, letters they used to do um, in the late 80s? Um, so I found that, I looked for that washi tape and I, and I bought it and I love just giving it that old touch. But I would probably add more to this. I wouldn't just leave it this blank. But if I received that, I'd be happy with that. Um, okay, so moving on to the papers. So using plain um, copy paper, just plain um, from your printer, um, you have an A4 and I just do it in half and then I cut it through the middle. And then all you, the simplest thing that you can do is just get deco tape or washi tape and cut little sections and just put them on the top there all the way around. So it's decorated all the way around and then you've got your, you can start your um, dear so-and-so here and on the back will be the same. So I quite, I actually quite love this type. It feels nice. It feels um, sturdy in my hand from the washi tape. Um, here is another style. So this, I actually use deco tape here, just washi here. So it's different. Um, it feels papery more like, and this feels a bit heavier because of the plastic of the deco. Um, so this, I only did it up the top, so there's two styles that you could do. You can go all the way around if you want, or you can just go up the top. And you know, they're two different, two different styles. I did want to write to show you what a handwritten one looks like, but I've made so many, you'll see in a minute. I couldn't write that many, uh, I couldn't handwrite that many letters. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's two there. Another thing that I sometimes do, although it does take a lot of time. So this is, um, this is... Uh, cartridge paper so it's a bit heavier it's about 200 grams thicker paper and um, what I do is I love to stitch I love stitching my grandma taught me stitching a long time ago and um, I love it I love to stitch so here I just stitched all around the or the the border this is called a blanket type stitch and um, yeah it's just another way of adding the decorative border around and then you can just write all the way to the end um, this one here, okay, this one here is, um, I used my Twinkling H2Os, I activated them, and then I used the back of, um, the back of a pencil, so like this, but it was flat, it wasn't this domed. So I would dip it in and dip it, and I used two different colors, and I just did that all the way around, all the way around, and um, I love I love the Twinkling H2Os because they do give you, I don't know if the light will pick up the shine, see that shine? It's very pretty paint. So I did that there, and I did another one here where I dabbed it and then, you know, used a different one and then went like this on the side. So just a different pattern. So I thought that was nice and simple to make. And for these, you, um, this one stuck to this one, I think. So 
so the back of there you have to be, I have to be careful and then I also bled off the side here so you could still write on the back um, makes it more authentic more handmade more um, you know aged and imperfect um, that's not too bad I don't, I don't mind that all right um, the second one that I did was this one so this is um, just using any old uh, stamp set that you have and what I did here was I used two different colors and did not clean off my stamp in between so it made a third color and I really love that it looks like an ombre effect and I would write on that and I would write on the back too um, similarly with this one I did the same thing here I stamped them in one color and then the pink and then I would go back and use that same color. So that's the um, Diane Reevely ink pad that I used there. Um, so I used the same kind of theme which is that pretty butterfly, flowery, fairy kind of stamp. Um, same thing here, different, you could just with the same stamp, you could make three different types of, you know, um, stationery. And like I said, this one here, this is co this is copy paper. Uh, this is copy paper. This was different because it had to be a bit thicker to take that thread. But this is plain old copy paper and stamps. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. So now we move on to this. This is, um, okay, so this is, can you see, I use Twinkling H2Os, and it is iridescent and gorgeous, and um, just, I love it. So um, what I did was I used um, watercolor paper, nice and thick, and then I used copy, pa um, copy paper. So you, oh, straight away you can see that's flimsy, that's quite hot thick no bleeding through the back bleeding through the back and at times it um, you know went through um, went through so when it, when you're watercoloring I would suggest that you definitely use watercolor paper I would still use this to write a letter um, the the go the paints are gorgeous and I will take a picture um, I'll write a letter on these later on I'm hoping to, you know, send a few um, letters to some pen pals, and um, I might make a um, a call for pen pals if anyone's interested. Just leave me a message below, and um, we'll see how we go. I, I probably can't do 50, but I might be able to do a few. Um, so uh, these were the only two that I did in copy paper, and these were what I did um, using watercolor paper. So I just played. And basically, that's all male art is. It's decorating to your mood, to your love. So Twinkling H2Os. I mean, can you imagine what this would look like written? Oh, it's so gorgeous. So I did some just in lines, and I did some full pages. Um, lines, full pages, full pages, line. Look at these gorgeous colors. Lined. So this is okay. Um, so this is um, this is another pet peeve of mine, um, which is the pilling of the paper. I mean, obviously this is copier paper, and what happens when you run the brush, a wet brush, on the very thin paper is that the paper will start flaking off. So this I don't like. I don't like that the fibers have come here and it's made it very thin in these areas. Uh, so don't like that although when my friends send me homemade paper letters I love them and I love the fibers that are caught in the paper um, and the ink and the fibers I love it I just don't know why when, when it's imperfectly made by me I, I really don't like it so I have to work on that in myself so that was one with copy paper so uh, still going through all the different colors one, this one. Oh, another one. Another one with copy paper. 
but the color is just gorgeous. I would still use this, and you know what? I would probably even stamp on this. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. So I'll keep you updated with how these turn out. Um, just follow me on Facebook, and I'll print these up. Uh, I'll put photos of what I've done here. Okay? So, yeah, another way to make pretty stationery is just to pull out your watercolors and your stamps. And whatever else you do, if you stitch, do it. If you love washi tape, put that on. It doesn't matter. Just be who you are and it will come through. It, whenever you're happy doing something, your happiness comes through to, to your partner. Uh, whoopsies. Okay, so one more thing I wanted to show you. And this is, this is me. This is totally me. And it's time consuming. But one thing that I did was I... Again, this is using a copy paper, normal copy paper that you have at home. I put five tea bags in a little bit of hot water and I let it steep for a, a while. And then I just rubbed the tea bag um, all over here. And sometimes I left it on and sometimes I took it out. So it created all this pattern. So there's one there's another one so and my aim with doing this was making aged paper so this side i did that the other side is just the bleed through and i would still use that i think that's gorgeous okay so tea stained paper real tea so australian stained tea paper this is handmade by me <laughs> and one it you could take it one further step and create this so this is copy paper, normal copy paper, burned around the edges, very lightly burned pull, very lightly burned pull, so that it doesn't flake. And I don't want to touch this because I know it will flake, but it looks so gorgeous. Um, on top of tea stained. So it'll eat away, so it'll look like a parchment that's been, I don't know, burnt or, or stored for ages and eaten away by time. So once again, I, I can't wait to sit down and write on this and then I'll take a picture and I'll, I'll share it with you guys through Facebook and Instagram and show you just how gorgeous this will look. And you know, I might even, ooh, might even do that. It's so pretty. But you know, you can't send that unless you put it in a bottle. <laughs> See how much that will cost in the mail like that and then oh I love it, it just looks so amazing and of course uh, if you make something in this style your envelope will have to uh, meet the same standards so I'm gonna have to tea stain some envelopes for you so stay tuned for that um, so yeah that's some of what I do now I made, really quickly I want to show you, I made some mail tags. Now, it is hard sometimes to sit down to write. Sometimes you think, oh, what am I going to say? I, I don't even know where to start. And so I do make these, um, and I call them the currently mail tags, you know, like um, just about you, about you and what you're doing, what you're watching at the moment, what it is you're buying or, or you've just bought or you're thinking of buying where you're eating at the moment, like what's your favorite snack? Like at the moment, I'm eating cornflakes. I have this craving for just simple cornflakes with milk. Crazy, really. At the moment, I'm wearing, so you know, it's it's the end of summer coming into winter, so I'm pulling out my turtlenecks and I'm falling back in love with my turtlenecks because um, it's getting cooler at night now. Reading, um, I'm still getting through my Game of Thrones. So I'm putting that, uh, what you're crafting, I have just been doing a whole lot of flip books and really loving flip books. If you had asked me this question six months ago, I would have said I'm making pocket letters. So these do change. The mail tag questions don't change, but your answer will change every once in a while. What are you loving at the moment? I am loving garage sales and um, treasure hunting at the three in one, at, at markets, at, um, you know, uh, flea markets. Um, what are you getting ready for at the moment? I am getting ready for um, 
Next month we have a big craft show that is coming to Perth. I am so excited. I am um, making dates with my girlfriends, with my other crafting buddies, and we're getting ready for the May, the big craft fair in May. So, um, yeah, so these are something I have sitting here. I also make some and I put them in with some of my letters to give to my buddies um, so that when they get my letter, they can grab one of these and then go, okay, Dear Amir, I'm currently watching this. I am thinking of buying these jeans and I ate a big pizza last night. You know, like, it's just conversation. It makes good conversation. And, you know, when you've got prompts, it's easy. When you don't have prompts, you're like, oh, what am I going to say? So make it easy for your pen pal. Um, send them something so that they can send you back something. Ask them a question so they can answer your question so that it's always coming and going. It's not just like... Hi, how are you? Okay, bye. And then they're like, okay. <laughs> and they forget about you. Whereas if you ask them to tell you about their story, or if you ask them a question, or you've sent them something and ask them to send you uh, back a different type of tea or whatever, they'll do it. They will respond in kind. And so there's always this coming and going between you once every month, once every three months. It doesn't matter. It's whatever uh, you know you decide between you. So anyway, this has gone on for far too long. Um, thank you so much for uh, having a look at my... Um, uh, whoopsies. So thank you so much for um, watching this video. And I do hope you make your own mail art. And I do hope that you join our letter writing challenge. It will be so exciting um, to see where you're from, where your stamps are from, uh, the different kind of mail art that you make. And um, I will show everybody's mail art that comes in. I'll do, um, if you just write me a little note and say, happy for you to share mine, or please don't share my letter, but you can share my envelope, or please don't show my address, but you can show everything else. Whatever you want to do, give me your instructions, and I will plug your YouTube channel, I will plug your Facebook, I will plug your Instagram, um, and this is all about, you know, sharing with each other our passions. So, so let me know um, in your letter um, where you want me to go with it, okay? And I thank you in advance for sending in your letters to me and to the other girls, and I thank you in advance for um, participating in our challenge. And uh, I do hope that you make a video showing us what you've made.